Okay, here we go. Go live. The live video is starting, folks. And we're live. Hello there. Welcome back to Palimpsest Live. <laughs> we are here today again with the lovely Rose all the way from Vancouver. And we are very happy to have back the amazing Ross all the way from LA where it's super cold. <laughs> Look at this nice, we, we coordinated colors today. <laughs> and all the way from Australia, we have the lovely Cheryl. And from Toronto, the amazing Stephanie, who is uh, again running all the tech behind the scenes, which is amazing. We can <laughs> give a little applause for that because it's really difficult. And it looks like it's working, so we are very happy. So uh, we are uh, a member short today, the amazing Lara. She's in Bali. She's enjoying uh, some uh, lovely culture. I saw some pictures coming by on her Facebook today. So if you're curious what she's doing, go check that out. And uh, I believe we, we are very surprised that Cheryl is here because I think you are all up in uh, preparing for your exhibition, aren't you, Cheryl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it going well? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it looks good. It's um, it's nice to have your stuff out in a gallery, isn't it? It's really um, it's nice and clean. Nice. <laughs> awesome. You'll yeah, have to show we us always some pictures. Post some pictures. Yes. Yeah. Post, yeah. Post some pictures, yeah. and everybody yeah. go yeah. to Cheryl's uh, Facebook page and and go check that out. And her Instagram, she always does uh, cool things there as well. Um, and in the meantime, um, we are all here now for half an hour. Uh, for your enjoyment. So if you have any questions for us, I please have a post them in the comments and we will uh, we will answer them either today or uh, next week. Because uh, we, we'd like to know what you're thinking. What is it, Russ? Did you want to oh, say something? Yeah, your name is Denise and where are you? Where oh. are you today? Oh yeah. I am Denise. Yeah, sorry about that. I am Denise and I am in St. Jerome. I'm back in my studio oh, you're back finally home. after all of my traveling. I am wow. uh, I'm finally back and uh, I'm I'm even uh, I'm back to work again, so that's exciting. So if you want to see what that is all about, check out my Instagram and Facebook page to, to see what, what's, uh, what's cooking here in the studio. So without further ado, let's uh, jump into our subject for today, because I know there are a lot of paintings floating out there right now, and I believe that quite a few got stuck in Ross's studio. So I think <laughs> you may have something to I share. Have, I have a few and <laughs> I'm not even at my studio today. So I only have some of them here. I have two here. I have three back there. So I'm um, sorry, but three. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. I thought you had four. I guess you have five. Okay, okay. I yeah, think I no, thought, I thought but, it's sorry, getting worse. Could, it's getting worse. <laughs> you, know, it, you know, I've been so like thing, things have been happening in my life yeah, that have yeah. been out of my control, and yeah. I, I got really mixed up, and so I'll fix it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Shall I show Let you what happen. I have? Because yeah. I've got some. I haven't even looked at them yet. I just sliced oh, them yes. open. Please, yes. And, um, this is from our friend Julie Brayton in Rhode Island. Oh boy. I've been waiting for this one because I know I'm going to do it this one too. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't keep us in suspense, Ross. Oh, I love <laughs> Which it. one is it? I, I have no idea anymore. Oh. No. Painting F, is that Denise? Is that F? Uh, this yeah, uh, it's it. Yeah, can you hold it a little higher, Ross? Higher? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's better. That's lovely. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm not quite oh, sure wow. how to. Um, Make, make sure I can see it on the screen because I don't have my mm -hmm. screen up here. But I got to tell you a couple of things about this. First of all, this is the first time that I'm seeing the Diane's, sorry, Denise's background um, with the textures in real life. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, like, just the touch mm -hmm. of it is exquisite. Like, on my fingertips, it's like, oh, this is something mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. yeah, you are right. I always have people ask me, they, they always come up to my paintings and they're always like, oh, can I touch it? Can I touch it? Mm -hmm. oh, and, oh my yeah, goodness. it's almost like a textile. It's, yeah. it's it does. It's yeah. sort of pulling yes, you it, in like a textile. It, it's kind of amazing how, not even kind of amazing, how, okay, so who worked on this so far? It's, um, of course, 
Rose. Everyone except you. Nico, Nico <laughs> Lee, Denise's background. <laughs> um, so Stephanie, gosh, I don't know which part Stephanie worked on. The is, this, is, this, is this yours, Stephanie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then Laura, is Laura the figure? Or is that? No, Denise? the figure is mine. The okay. bridge is, is, Sarah, is Cheryl's. Because the, the buildings were mine, the bridge is Cheryl's, the figure The is figure mine. in the foreground, is that? That's Stephanie. And uh, I think the yellow road might have been uh, oh, Lara's. This, yes, it is. Part. Lara's. Yeah, yeah the, the yellow. yellow. Ah, so, ah. so what did Julie do? I don't think Something Julie did anything. The, Julie didn't do anything. Julie didn't touch it. Okay. But, but Cheryl, you, Cheryl, you did? Because I don't think you signed it on the back. I don't see your Oops, name Oh, sorry. The do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's... Oh, sorry, that's my husband's signature. Oh, <laughs> You'll have to sign it when we meet uh, in, yeah. in Vancouver next year. You'll have to yeah. sign it. This is really something cool. Oh, yeah. yeah it's and cool. you say you have ideas for this one already, Ross? I do. I've had a piece. Because I think you are the final one to touch this painting. Yeah, he will be. I wouldn't doubt yeah. that. <laughs> no, no, because it's, you're it's, the last it's, one. It's, yeah, yeah you are the last one. one. You're the last one. Yeah. And, well, I've, ha I've had a... I've had a a piece of a clipping that I've carried around since art school. So that's tell a us, long tell time us. ago <laughs> <laughs> when all my hair was really dark <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um, it's going to be perfect for this. And oh, I'm not quite sure how, how I'm going to handle it, but it's, it's really, it's like just right for this. And Sweet. I've been waiting for this moment since I found this piece. Oh, oh wow. That's great. Yeah. That's so great. I'm super excited that's about that. Great. Oh, that's exciting. I can't yeah. wait to see it. Yeah. It's like, shall I unveil this next one? Yes, please. This yes. came from, <laughs> from Laura. So it comes from the UK. And before that, it came from Julie. And before that, it came from Stephanie. And, wow. Let's see. It's paper, paperwork. I'll make sure I don't lose the paperwork. But... <laughs> and don't mix them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so great. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. That's lovely. Oh, that's amazing. Oh wow. Yeah. That so is, is that gold? It's gold. Hold it up higher, mm. please. Oh, <laughs> not that high. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Oh so, my god. Yeah, it's got gold on it, which I think that's what Laura did. Yeah. 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 And then it looks like there's a cuz I I can't see it now. So it's <laughs> it's the, the background in the koi mm -hmm. and the yeah. lotus, right? So yeah. Cheryl, I'm sure it's Cheryl and and Stephanie, mm -hmm. but I guess did everybody all work on this already? No, not I haven't not, seen it. No, not the rose and these. So Rose has it. Rose, it needs your dragonflies. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's yeah, and so I haven't seen things. it either. Wow. That one. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so coming it's texture together. Of it. It's so beautiful. I adore the, 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 the gold. Yeah, oh, it's lovely. It's perfect. It has it has um, like this really kind of magical dimensionality happening. How the gold is sort of floating up above the, yeah. the water mm -hmm. and how the fish are below the water and the <clears throat> lotus is on the water. I mean, this is a really <laughs> amazing and how the light is sort of dancing with it too. So it's got like these wow. extra dimensional kind of things happening. And I don't know how the color is showing up on oh, screen, so but they are exquisite. Rich. It's rich. Really yeah. beautiful. So Cheryl, how do you feel about seeing it now what it's good isn't it? it it is yeah, isn't it's it? great yeah it's yeah. like it's it's doing what you said it was going to do and it's taking on its own personality yeah, yeah 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 and it's really interesting i you know the concept of where you look in a painting and you know where your eye line goes and 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 it's like like what ross was saying all those different levels of how you often look deep into a painting and you can yeah. all these different levels that yeah and, yeah, and you know with, with these paintings you really get lost in them 
you know i mean i love doing that that's like why, one of the reasons i love pictures so much it's just to look at it and kind of mm -hmm. fall into it and with both of these you can just really like go in and and explore mm -hmm. and have an experience and come out of it and go back in right because mm -hmm. you haven't seen everything yet and your mind is still putting it together these are really exciting yeah, yeah so i love that like word meeting, meeting someone new and getting to know the their the yeah. oh, complex yeah. layers of their right. personality yeah. because yeah. I, I, like as like artists sometimes have, have to let their art go you know like it's so close to us when we're making it and then it's done and then we present it to the world and then it has its own experience like separate mm -hmm. from us mm -hmm. and this one really seems to be embodying that because mm -hmm. it started off like as one thing and Oh, it's completely mm. something else. It's just like we have to kind of have this ability to let it go at the same time that we're kind of letting ourselves do what Ross said and fall deep into it at the same time. Mm. It's it's really fascinating. I, a, that's a who's paradox, next, huh? Ross? You know, who's I, next? If I could just comment on that, and that's a, a delicate... Um, situation to be in or you know what I mean so letting it go because you know we started it so we feel a uh, an ownership over it right but knowing that it's not ours it's the groups and mm -hmm. that it becomes its own thing at the very end mm -hmm. so it's it's yeah. kind of it's kind of like raising a child <laughs> or, yeah, or like, really got with like you saying said you know like or like getting to meet someone meet yeah but, someone but it's fun but it's fun remember yeah. this is fun <laughs> yeah well, well, it's, it's it's raising children not fun <laughs> that's right that's right uh, so okay. ross uh, seeing it now uh for the first time do you have any ideas already for for for, this, for that one this beauty um I, I had one idea that I don't like very much, but it might still sure work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have two weeks with it, so you have that. two weeks you know, time to, to mull it over. Sometimes actually, it's actually, really I, pretty. I have to do something that's kind of like dark. Yeah, you know? I, I, I think that's just my to joker too. Idea. So, what's that, Cheryl? Yeah, you have to use that idea. I like that idea about um, you don't always have to be proper and right and all that stuff. Do the opposite. Yeah, yeah I know it. you're. I know you're a big proponent of that kind of thinking. I like that. Well, yeah. yeah, but it is. I mean, I mean, you know, how often you you think that way, and you often think, well, let's just flip it. Go for it, Ross. Do, do, do the yeah. yeah, go on. But um, I like so that. Rose, Rose cool. had asked where the um the the what do I call this carbon lotus uh, pond pond painting is going to Rose pond. next. Ooh, and um, and I will ooh. touch it last. And the other one is, oh, Finish. yeah, I'm last on the other one because Julie's really not doing that one anymore, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. Awesome. So two weeks ago, Rose had the opportunity to open a painting. And I know you have been really busy uh, because stuff was happening in your life as well. So I don't think you have had the chance to work on it yet. But you've had some time with it and at the time you didn't really know what to do but i think you have maybe an inkling can you uh, tell us first rem remind us which painting is this it, that we are talking this, about it, the painting that arrived that i had to put aside carefully because i was moving so i i didn't lose it thank god because i was like very conscious of that possibility <laughs> Sure. So I was like hyper aware of where I had put it. So I've had it sitting on my table in my new like space. Anyways, um, it's been sitting there. So I've been looking. Which at which it. one is this? It is the one that Ross began with the very dark background oh, cool. and a very uh, ethereal figure with the lovely textured reddish paper and things going on. There's like two little tiny figures that have been like, it's just got these like components that at this point kind of seem a little separate. So anyways, um, when I work, 
my method is very different. The pigments that I use are symbolic and meaningful and connected with nature. So, for example, I have um, uh, someone who has asked me to uh, paint a caribou onto one of my printed botanical pieces. Nice. So we were discussing it, and I cooked over several months some pigment that is made from lichen that is kind of cooked in ammonia and water over time. And it becomes, if you're lucky, purple or red, or there are different, like, wonderful colors that come from the lichen. Lichen specifically because caribou eat lichen, oh. and it is at risk, and it is one of the reasons why their habitat is at loss, and we have been losing our caribou. So when I work, there are many, many layers. So I've been thinking about this painting, and I think I'm going to do something similar, and maybe I'm going to um, dye some textured paper or fabric or something, maybe wool tufts, I'm not sure, in something like that that's symbolic, um, maybe symbolic of a river and plants that grow along the edge of the disappearing river close by. <laughs> so because this piece has a, a, a sense of melancholy hmm. that I respond to because a lot of my work is about the loss of our habitat, the loss of like, let's say the aspen trees that I can um, print from and the alder trees that the government sprays to get rid of so that they can plant their industrial uh, pine trees. It, there are all these layers of what I do. So anyways, I, I felt a real sense of um, simpatico with this piece because of this kind of soft sense of something longing that seems to have been already imbued in it. So something strange and different will happen to the piece. And it will happen to oh, you. <laughs> I swear, okay. <laughs> I'm really excited to see Me that. Too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Because are you the, the final one working on that painting? No, I am. Do you know? No? Oh, you are, yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. we'll get to see it when it arrives in your studio, Stephanie. Yes. And it mm. might be just, you know, something small, you know, like maybe like Julie's raindrops or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, as I said, the, the way I work, it's there's so many um, sort of symbolic and, and, mm -hmm. and nature embedded mm -hmm. meanings of, of even mm -hmm. the materials that I use. So that will mm -hmm. be in that piece. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm very excited about this. Me too. So I know that Stephanie also had a painting I and uh, Stephanie uh, the, was actually the, the final one to apply a layer to this painting. So the, for all intents and purposes, this is the second painting of our series to be completely finished. And I believe that Stephanie would like to share with us um, what it looks like now and what she did and why she did it. Okay, so this is painting B that Julie started, Julie Brayton, oh. Oh. and I, I, wow. again, so this is the oh, one yeah. that, like we just don't know what orientation, right? So is it this way? Is it this way? Is it this way? Or is it this way? I don't know. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it this way. That's the original mm -hmm. way. Is it? But the, no. drag, yeah. but the dragonfly to me so. is it? feels like it should be going up. <laughs> I it was that way was the original way. I think this was the original way, but oh, I'm not sure the anymore. Way. Yeah. Okay. So, so your I mean, high is going up that way. No, because yeah. there's, well, there's, there's, a, there's a pink high, unless it's all straight backward from oh, the camera. Yeah. yeah, right there. Oh, it is. It's mirrored. So it's like, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this <laughs> yeah. is, high is going up. Yeah. This okay, is so on, that's the original way then. This is yeah. on the right side of the painting. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I, I like oriented it. it when I did it with your high. So this way. It's it's something else, huh? Yeah. I feel like well, well, you're well, mounted on a, on a movable platform. When when the original blue was added, it was the other way. This way. How about if we put it on the floor or on the table and we look at it, we, we hop in a circle around and we look down on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. I think that's Yeah, or it has to be on a movable uh, movable. Yeah. Like a lazy, lazy, lazy Susan. Lazy Susan, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I like that, Cheryl. I think that's great because you can choose how you will approach it. <laughs> you know how you draw yeah. in the sand when you're a kid? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You, know, you know, it's that sort of, <laughs> we're all looking down on it. Do you have any ideas? So I've already done it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah, the, in the dark, sky. Is it the little dots? Yes. Oh, on the top? yeah, in the They're sky. supposed to be the mosquitoes for the dragonfly to eat. Oh, oh that's fabulous. Love and it. Love seeing... it. But it also adds a sense of um, uh, festive. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and it also, I copied like them here. Ah, I copied them here to balance it a bit. Yeah. I love it. It also oh, balances nice. with... Um, that's, with the and, dots in the bottom and with these two yeah yeah and i put some here too yeah exactly i just thought i wanted so my thinking was that it's a marsh right mm -hmm. so i read everything mm -hmm. and i'm like okay let's mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. like not let's but let's see what i can do to try to make this mm -hmm. more marshy <laughs> yeah um and so i thought well what's the dragonfly gonna eat <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah and yeah. so i thought well dragonflies love mosquitoes and so i I wanted to mirror the um, the beautiful iridescent light colors that Rose uh, yeah, created the yeah. dragonfly with. So that's what I did. They're essentially like just, you know, little crosses that kind of look like mosquitoes or kind of look like something or nothing. But, you know, that's okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be mosquitoes. So. Um, like fireworks. Yeah. Oh, Okay. That's what, yes, yeah. that's what I meant. Festive, like fireworks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they can be whatever we want them to be. How's that? Are you the <laughs> last one to work on it? Yes. It's finished. This yeah. is great. This yeah. is so beautiful. is it the Dragonfly Dance? It's that's complex. a nice title. Yeah. Isn't it? It's complex, but it's also um, accessible. It's really... Mm. And pretty the dragonfly dance. It's yeah, pretty. it's pretty. Yeah, it is yeah. pretty. It is very pretty. Yeah. But like not so pretty that you like it's like boring. It's like not just a picturesque. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like it's pretty in a like a I don't know, it's got a lot of heart to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Well there's a lot to look yeah. at. There's a lot, a lot to look at. Well it's very interesting, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Even the way textures that the river and... the river flows through it and back. Yeah. It's yeah. So oh, now it, I it see is, the rip. Now I get what you're saying. That's why you want to the see yellow the as it kind of comes yeah. back and it flows back. Oh, and it's, um, okay. okay, so I know now what Rose did and what Stephanie did. Denise and Cheryl, what did you guys do? I actually added um, there, there. There was a, a white shape white? in the top that uh, that was yeah on the white side oh. on the blue side. Okay. I mirrored that on the other side With as the, well yeah. as I mirrored all the yellow dots. Uh, that we were on one side so i brought more light into the painting by mirroring the two by mm -hmm. sort of bringing mm -hmm. the one side into the other and sort of making it more one yeah and cheryl and cheryl, cheryl? i did i think i did a lot of the dark stuff oh yeah <laughs> yeah you all. did you did that's what you yeah, said but you, you did like that whole sky like outside yeah. the yeah. Lara's yeah, blue. For a moment. i'm so sorry oh, you're oh. fine yeah, so I, I, I think, yeah, that I, I darkened the bottom and I, yeah, um, yeah. Um, when it arrived um, with me, um, there was a lot of white still in it. And I think that I, I thought um, it needs um, some dark. That's what you wrote, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I darkened it up. <laughs> it, you know, nice. it really does kind of convey that moment of, of when the light transforms night to day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It looks yeah. like a sunrise or a sunset to me, without the so typical sun setting or sun rising on the horizon kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So in Rhode Island, um, so what would it be? Would that be a sunrise? Would it? That's what uh, Julie wrote, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
Because I have people saying to me really strange things like something about my sunsets or something. And and then um, because we live here and the sun rises, of course, over the ocean, it doesn't set over the ocean because you have to go to Western Australia to see the sun set over the ocean oh, if you get my drift. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And I'll have people and they'll sort of have these sort of like conversations with me about this. And then I have to say, nah, the sun actually rises here. You've got it wrong. <laughs> so, so for this particular painting, um, she just wrote, this is a mark. So she wrote transformation yeah. for me is a transformation of dark to light, black and white to color. This is a marsh yeah. uh, that starts with a sun bursting throughout through the clouds, yeah. transforming from grays to color. So it's not a sunrise or a sunset, just a sunburst. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a new day. Yeah. Yeah. It really is a new day to me. New day. New day. Oh, I like these titles for the painting. Mm. I think, uh, anyway, well, we'll, we'll talk about how we're going to title yeah. these paintings, well, there's right? There's one aspect of being a group, right? We're going to have to discuss the titles. Yes. Or do we, do we leave it up to our audience members, audience. our followers? Yeah. To, to get if anybody out there has maybe any idea. And maybe there's a little idea. prize in it for them or something. I'm just making that up now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody out there has any ideas for a title for this painting, then please let us know in the comments and yeah. we will consider mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And is there and anyone out there? Is, yeah, is there anyone out there, first of all? <laughs> Are we talking into the void? <laughs> Stephanie, you're going to have to do a stand-up comic a, a comic routine, aren't you? <laughs> a surprise. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise? That's, surprise. that's more like a punishment. <laughs> I've never done stand-up comedy. Oh my gosh, no. People leave. Oh, I think it's something that movie. we should discuss um, <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the near future is because uh, we had decided that since, like we were just talking, um, that as soon as these paintings leave our studio and we let go of, of our little idea, it, it becomes all of our painting and it's not no longer mine or Rose's or Stephanie's. It's it's our painting and it's going to leave, lead a life of its own. So the title would come once the painting is finished mm. and we had never actually discussed on how we were going to get to that title whether we were all going to come up with one and then vote or uh do we let the audience decide or mm. let's uh, let's think about that a little bit yeah because Something we now have two paintings <laughs> yeah we now have two paintings that are finished and I know Ross has one that he is going to be the final layer uh, on. So we soon have three. So the, the, the thinking of the titles is, is coming up. Mm -hmm. So it's something we'll have to uh, have to think about. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, a do, new and different uh, procedure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I, actually, in, oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I, I had that a similar idea to that with some of my students to give them more direction you have to think of the title of your work before you start that's one way to do you it know, yeah yeah it, it, it was really just to get them to have a concept right i've never done that my my paintings always know. tell me after they're done what their but name you <laughs> you're 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 a seasoned artist but what i thought was i would just give it to my students just to twist up their thinking rose if you that was the idea. I might like, try yeah. that because I like to shake things up too. Uh, yeah. Like last year or uh, yeah, last year I took an online course with a great artist for color mixing. I know how to color mix, but I yeah. just decided to just yeah. shake it up and yeah. see how yeah. somebody else yeah. did it, yeah, you know? Sure. It's good yeah. to, to open yeah. your, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, it was, it was fun. It was like it made yeah. my brain work in a different way. So yeah. that's a good way yeah. to do that. Which is awesome. Yeah. Which is also what this project does, I feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for me too. For me anyway. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a great uh, so I'm idea. looking forward to working on that piece and I'm going to send it out probably by, by Monday. So there you go. Yay. Very nice. Mm. Wonderful. Alrighty. Well, it's <laughs> four o'clock. So that, okay. that's our half hour here. Uh, next week, we'll probably be rerunning one of uh, Kate Taylor's interviews. And then the week after, we will hear uh, whether Rose was able to send out her painting. Maybe Stephanie will even have received it by then and hopefully ross will also have something to share with us that would be great because i know there's some of us that are really, really eager to get uh, get on with things 
Uh, also, in other uh, exciting news is that um, come Monday uh, is August 15th, which is the day that we start our new series of paintings. Yay. So nice. from, from Monday onwards, we'll have two weeks to wow. come up with a concept and create a painting and send it on to the to the second um, artist for that painting. So we'll have new paintings to explore very soon. So wow. thank you all for, for joining us and um, keep coming back. We'll be back uh, here next week at 3.30 p.m. on Thursday, uh, Eastern Standard Time that is, hopefully um, with everybody in attendance. And then uh, again, if you have any questions for us, please ask them in the comments, even if uh, this is a, you're watching the re rerun or whatever, um, mm. just keep posting and we'll, we'll uh, answer them live on, on air in upcoming weeks. Thank you very much. And uh, we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Thanks everyone. We're going to stay bye. on the talk, right? That's the, thanks yes. everyone. Okay. Bye. Thank I'm you. End the live. <laughs>